Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Wii SX emulator for the Wii as long as ISOs that come for the emulator. Okay, so first of all I just want to apologize because the camera will be shaky for reasons that I'm, I just don't really have to explain. But um, yeah, so the camera unfortunately will be shaky but I will hold it as steady as I can to the best of my abilities. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is to go download the emulator itself. I go into this internet site, it will be in the description box. Alright, this is called Wii SX. I'm going to go to the side here and you're going to download it. I also apologize for the noise in the background. Alright, right here is the emulator. I should click on beta 2.1.zip and click on it. And you're going to also need WinRAR, which will also be in the description box. So you're just going to click OK and save it as default. I save it as WinRAR default. Um, I already did it, so I don't have to do it. So once it's done, you should get something like this. Okay, now you will need your SD card in there because I already do. So you will need your SD card. Okay. So I have removable disk F, which is my SD card right here. So before you even do anything, you're going to want to go back on your browser and you're going to want to go into this. Um, site which will also be in the uh, link in the description box. And you're gonna want to download this BIOS. The SCPH one thousand one dot bin. Alright. You're gonna download the second one. Just click download and you're gonna save as WinRAR again. And you should get something. I right, saved it on the desktop, we should get something like that. Alright, so pretty much in order to put it in the in the uh, emulator onto the SD card. Oh, and by the way, you will need the homebrew channel. I forgot to mention that. You will need the homebrew channel in order to do this. So you, we must be hacked, pretty much. Alright, so pretty much you're going to drag this copy, WSX onto the root of the SD card, which is the root meaning like as soon as you open it, this is what's going to show up. This is going to show up. That's the root. So you're just going to, as soon as it as it shows up, your SD card, you're just going to drag it in there. Alright, then on the, on your SD card, you're going to click on apps, and then on here, you're going to click on apps, and you're going to drag WSX again into the apps folder on your SD card. Okay, and once you do that, just click on the Wii SX with the two lowercase SX. This is where you put in the BIOS, your ISOs, and your saves. Just gonna drag the SCPH 1001.bin onto the BIOS section. Should get something like that. And for the ISOs where you download the ROMs, well, pretty much the games. You will go into this website, which will also be in the description box. I'm just going to refresh this. There we go. That's it up there. It will be in the description box, like I said. And they don't have, they don't have like all the games, but they have a good amount. So you just click on which one you want. I'm not going to download one because it takes a lot. Of, it takes like about 20 to 60 megabytes, I believe. This one's five megabytes, but. Anyway, you just click on one. I'm not going to download it. Click on one, you scroll down until you find the code. And you also need the password. You just type in as soon as the download's done. So, pretty much you're going to go copy. T and paste. Once you paste it on the browser, 
you'll get a rapid share download, at least this is one, and click free user, you're going to download it, make sure you download it on WinRAR default, and once that happens, you should get something like this, as you can see I can't freaking open it, it's stupid, whatever, here I'll just go into WinRAR, alright, this is just one of the games I downloaded, Sorry about this, guys. So you just enter the password in there. And as you can see, I did it wrong. But once that happens, you will find the ISO there. You're just going to click on it. And then you're going to see a dot bin ISO. You're just going to drag it in. See, let's just, let's just take this as an example. This is an ibin file. But this is pretty much what it's going to look like once you click on it. Once you put in the password, you're just going to drag it into the ISOs folder. And as you can see, I have a game there. I have sweet, I have a sweet code in too. And that's pretty much it. Right, so that's how you do it. That's how you put in the emulator and the ROMs, little slash ISOs, whatever. All right. Once you've done that, you can take out your SD card. So I'm gonna exit out of all this. Oh, whatever. I'll just leave that. All right. See, you know, safety remove hardware. So it's gonna. Alright, so you're just gonna take out your SD card. Alright, and you're gonna head over to your Wii. Since you see, I already have mine on right there. Just want to put it into the Wii console. Alright, it's in. Sit down. And I'm just gonna grab my Wii Remote. Now it's, there we go. There we go. Alright. Go into the Homebrew channel. I want to click Start. Just to let you know, guys, if you guys are confused about this, um, it will be in the description, everything you need to do, it will be in the description, so if you are confused about what I'm trying to say, which you probably are, just look in the description and you'll get it all. Alright, just going to click on Wii SX, you're going to click on load. Alright, you're going to put in load ISO, load from SD, and there's your game, your ISO, and click OK and click play game as you can see it loads up alright this is sweet code in 2 on the Wii playing it right now alright now I can't press start because the Wiimote settings don't really like yeah I'll try it with the classic controller alright so Sorry guys, it's night time where I'm at right now, so I have to do this while it's in the dark. Okay, classic controller is in. You guys cannot see that. I'm just going to push start and it's not working. Just great. But anyway, yes, guys, it, this does work. I you just have to have the classic controller in before. But yes, it does work. Alright, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.